It's almost been a year since that October mass shooting in Vegas last year when a gunman opened fire on the Route 91 Harvest Country Music Fest, killing dozens of concert goers. One local Marine vet jumped into action in this chaotic scene and rescued as many people as he could that night. 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala joins us from Point Loma with how that man is now honoring the victims. Taylor Winston wanted to get something that would hold the memories of the victims close to his heart forever, so of course he went with something permanent. Each piece of art. The time piece um, is actually set to the time of the shooting and uh, has a bullet hole that is passing through. It represents a different moment from that day. Uh, the wing here represents those lost. Moments that Taylor Winston and hundreds of thousands more will never forget. And then there's going to be embedded um, purple jewels, um, uh, amethyst. Amethyst is a stone for healing. And um, also it is the color of Route 91 and my girlfriend's birthstone. And she's been a huge support in me through all this. October 1st, 2017, Winston was at the music fest when the shots rang out. He quickly jumped into action, found a truck and started saving as many people as he could. Lucked out, the first vehicle I found had keys in it. And Andre Moreno, the artist at SD Tattoo, creating the piece, once a stranger to Winston, now a dear friend. I think it's something special that um, we've been connected. Someone who has spent countless hours coming up with the perfect memorial and someone who is also a survivor of the one October shooting. Together to be able to do this in a form of healing for both of us. Winston hopes now anyone who is still suffering from that day will reach out to him and talk about it. It's all going to be tied together with like smoke and stuff going through as if the pieces are kind of rising from the ashes, which is what everyone has had to do from this whole traumatic event. And Taylor and Andre hope to have the piece completed by this Sunday. Reporting in Point Loma, Mimi Alcala, 10 News.